Today, I'm not going to answer a question that I have found that draws answers, but instead, I'm going to answer a question that I get often being asked. And it's about when, when you are building a URDF model that contains several joints, so how can you check that you are doing properly? How do, can you check that your joints rotate in the proper way? And then, so you are sure that you are building the proper model. So for that, we are going to use a simple RBS tool in order to check that. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Then, the, in this case, I'm going to use the ROS development studio as always. It's whatever we are showing here is exactly the same that you can do in your computer or your robot. So it's just a matter of commodity that I'm using the ROS development studio. And here we have the model of the Ivo robot. You remember what is the Ivo robot? It's a robot dog by Sony. It's this robot here. It's quite nice. It's a piece of engineering that is amazing and artificial intelligence. And so we have built this model and we are going to check if the joints and everything is properly working in the URDF. Okay, so let's go. Here I have the model, the URDF, and uh, with the links for the different parts and the joints that connect the different links, etc., etc. And now what we are going to do is to create a launch file that will launch the tools that we need in order to check if this model is properly working. For this, I'm going to create here inside the launch file, I'm going to create another la file and I'm going to call it uh, check URDF, for example, dot launch. It's going to be a launch file that is generic. So this launch file can be used for any robot is not only for the IO robot. Then the first thing that I'm going to do is to do the launch of course and then here I'm going to create a parameter an argument to the launch file that can be provided during launch time and that is the one that contains the model that we want to check of the robot so it's the path to the URDF file okay that will be that parameter so in model, we'll have the path, the full path to the URDF file that we want to check. Then the next thing that we are going to do is to load into the param server this model. So we load into the param server as robot description the file that we have provided here. OK, great. So far, so good. Then the next thing, the next thing that we are going to do is to launch the joint state publisher. What is the joint state publisher? It's, it's a node provided by ROS that what it does is to read a URDF file and then publish a message in a topic containing the joint state values for that robot. So uh, you can check this documentation here in the joint state publisher of ROS, but basically is that it publishes a joint state topic containing the current position of all the joints of your robot based on the URDF that you are providing. Okay, let's go. Then let me launch. Put here the code for launching the joint state publisher and it's been launched like this. You can check on the documentation how to do it. Now, the only th strange thing that you can see here is that we have provided here a parameter use GUI to true. So this node provides a tool, it's a graphical tool here, that allows us to modify the joint state, the joint value at a certain point in time. It's a graphical tool that is very useful because based on the range of that joint, you can modify and see if your robot is rotating in the proper way. That's quite interesting. So in order to activate that, we have to set this parameter of the joint state value to true. Great. So now we have a topic that is pu publishing the joint states, but still we need somebody to publish the transforms between the different joints. So somebody has to publish the TF between the different links of the robot based on the values of the joint state. And that is called 
the robot state publisher. That's another node that is provided by ROS and that uh, does exactly that. It connects to this joint state topic that is provided by the joint state publisher and then reads the URDF and then computes at any point in time, it computes the transforms between all the different joints and publishes it into the TF. So I'm going to include this here, how to launch the Robot State Publisher. It's very simple, just like this. Okay, and in case that you don't know very much about Joint State Publisher or Robot State Publisher, you can do an, any of our uh, courses that explain that, specifically the TF course that we have in our academy, in Robotic Night Academy. I will provide a link to that course beneath the video. Great, you, we have everything now and uh, it only remains to launch the RBS. So we can see the results in a graphical uh, tool. Great, so that's it. I have it, so I'm going to uh, save it, save it, and then now I'm going to launch it. And for that, ROS launch. What is the package? It's called Ivo description. And the launch file is the check URDF. And remember that we have to provide the model as a parameter and for that I'm going to do a find of the IVO description and inside here it's uh, the URDF and then the the one that we are checking is IVO TC that we have here URDF it's IVO TC IVO TC dot URDF Okay, great. So let's launch it. Everything launched it. It looks correct. RV is launched. And then in order to see the graphical tools here in the ROS development studio, we have to go to this button here to open this ROS graphic tool tab. And here we have, uh, here it is. So we have the RBS that is here with the IVO loaded. And then also we have the GUI. Here is the GUI of the Joint State Publisher. Do you remember? I'm going to put it on top so we can touch both things at the same time. Great, so we have here the IVO model and then what we can do is to modify the values of the joints and see if they respond in the proper way. So we can see that that looks correct, that other also looks correct etc etc and you can do the same with all the different joints and keep on doing and keep on moving on the different joints for example here is the head yeah okay so it looks correct in this case it looks correct in case it's not you can then go back to your urdf and try to modify this okay just before finishing just remember that this is not a physics simulation it's just a URDF visualization. That is why here in the simulation doesn't appear here anything because uh, we don't have any simulation launched here. We are just checking the URDF model, okay? So that is all. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell in order to be notified when we publish a new video. Let me remind you that we are publishing a new video every day with interesting knowledge about draws and how to program this. So thank you very much for attending here and see you soon.